didn't really think I'd be recording with Lin Fei, but here I am, and we're actually going to talk about how this character, for once, makes dexterity seem actually useful. At first glance, when you see this character stats, you might be just thinking, oh, low attack and 8 dexterity. I'm out, right? It doesn't make much sense to play this character unless you are a diehard kind of guitar player or, you know, you're wanting to try out cannon and uh, you want some more leniency learning it. But with that being said, if you are, you know, in one of those two areas I described or, you know, you're just looking for something new to play, this character could be something really interesting to try out. Um, just because with this high dex, you're going to feel extremely good on guitars. And cannon, again, you really need it. Not really. I don't think there's anything I can think of that you're gaining. I mean, on Lin Fei, you can do like D-Light and Sig. Um, albeit, it seems to be like relatively specific spacing. Uh, but you're going to be getting some combos that other guitar legends naturally are not going to be able to get to. Because as far as I know, I mean, she's the highest dex guitar legend or can be the highest dex guitar legend in the game uh, with the stance. You're going to be able to get recovery into recovery. You're going to be able to get uh, D-Light there. I think that might be true without, but I know you can get D-Light and Light. That is not. Uh, the three-piece Nair side light D-Light is also a lot easier to hit. And um, you can do recovery D-Light in the air. Now, yes, some of these you're going to be needing to, doing the, like, to do them at lower health. Um, with that being said, like it's just... Uh, there's so much freedom that you can uh, do with this character and I'm surprised that I haven't seen more people the only person I've seen play this character and I'm sure I'll end up doing a video with them in the future is uh, like the only Lin Fei player in North America their name is Guichabao and um, yeah I mean they are really good at showcasing uh, Lin Fei's like I guess possibilities like with that they couldn't escape any of that now to be fair could they have lived there yeah I don't know how they died um, but Lin Fei is just an odd legend. Lin Fei is just a high dexter that, to me, um, it doesn't make sense why more people haven't given this legend a chance. Maybe it's because of just what the meta has been. Um, but I promise you, if, dude, if guitars were to really truly be like, oh yeah, this weapon is at the top right now. I would not be surprised if there weren't a bunch of people like trying Lin Fei. I'm sure a lot of people would be playing a Suri. Um, like maybe Ragnir and you know, there's a lot of good Qatar legends It's just that I think a lot of people are just unhappy with where the weapon is right now And if you're not playing like Qatar's you're probably playing like bow or you're probably playing like I don't know axe or gauntlets, maybe um, But yeah, also don't forget Lin Fei got moves like this like this move This is a, just an extra light attack look at how I can just jump like once I do it I'm literally able to jump with it. It's just if you're able to punish that you should be winning tournaments also, when it comes to like the offstage play with this high of decks on Katars, you're gonna really, uh, I think you're gonna be able to feel the difference. I know something that Guichabao does a lot of the time when we play, he's able to get that super consistently. And I think part of it is because of the dexterity, like the less uh, amount of recovery frames, albeit probably not that much, but you know, everyone wants to take this minus deck stuff. So it just makes it, makes it just, you know, a little easier um, to maybe get some plays oh i thought i would have something there it's actually weird that you can hit a triple recovery if you um you know if they were right at white health and you got them off the wall also okay well that's not what i meant to do but they're dead anyways i think guitars are a really sick weapon there was a time when i played them but nowadays uh, i'm just playing gauntlets like it was bcx 2019 i believe is when i was really playing guitars and i gotta say i had fun with them um but also they were just way too good in my mind and now gauntlets uh gauntlets to me aren't way too good it's just that gauntlets are just the way they're designed i mean what are you gonna do to them you know what i mean it's one of those cases where uh i don't really know what you could possibly do to like nerf it i guess they can't escape that by the way what i mean with that about the gauntlets comment gauntlets at the end of the day i think weapons like gauntlets and scythe you have to have such like drastic changes to the weapon to actually really really nerf them hard um specifically scythe in particular but then you have weapons on the other end of the spectrum that are like what would be a good one cannon i mean cannon had a rework and it's like okay was it better or is it worse post rework like which is the better version like a lot of people i, I feel like a lot of people who were legitimately playing cannon right um they liked the old cannon a lot more now the new one it seems like 
when it comes to balancing, it's either really good or it's just very, very, uh, like, whatever. Like, oh yeah, I could be playing cannon, but I also could be playing, like, XYZ weapons and, you know, seeing the same results with them and maybe having an easier time moving around. Um, guitars to me, though, I think guitars are pretty stable. Like, they have their kit. You can make them bad, obviously, but I think, uh, I think a lot of the time that might be hard to, well, I don't want to say hard to truly make them bad, but, um, it also, it's, it's tough because we're still in this online era, this online world, and I think guitars are a weapon that you need to be able to read every, um, opponent's dodge, and if you're good with that, awesome, uh, that's, that's great, but the thing is, online you never know if like your opponent gets a rollback what happens if your opponent gets a rollback guitars aren't necessarily going to have just the raw damage output to make up for um like you know getting getting those rollbacks and such whereas even gauntlets um all it takes on gauntlets is like one move on guitars you know there's times where even if you're playing on off stage you still need to hit like three four moves in a row even if it is like a ground pound um, there's just not there's not much leniency and I think that hurts the weapon a lot but enough talk about the game I think they actually I don't think they die if I managed to get that one though they did how was your guys spring break I ended up getting to go to Florida I went to Fort Myers and uh, was right on the beach it was really really nice had a good time didn't do anything too crazy but um, I mean this okay the guy I'm playing with is doing I don't know what they're on but they're doing some crazy stuff uh, yeah it was fun I mean I would have been fine with just staying, uh, you know, staying back. I, I don't really, I don't know. I like going places, but at the same time, like, I don't mind necessarily just hanging out. You know what I mean? Um, but when you have the opportunity for something like that, I think it's important to take it because you never know if you're going to have the chance to do something like that um, in the future. And it's like, okay, it's not like it's some crazy expensive trip anyways, but uh, it's just like... Yeah, I don't know. Um, life sometimes life happens, and you're just not gonna have the ability, or you won't be you won't be as free to do as what you want, I guess. And I think I'm in a time where I have that sort of freedom, and hopefully I can maintain it to some degree, um, especially with trying to go into the line of like content creation and stuff. Uh, but you never know. But I hope, like I said, all you guys had a uh, good spring break. And, you know, okay, well, let's focus up. I need to bust out the 9-dex guitars to the fullest extent. This guy is just running me down with weapon throw. It's, this is, dude, I'm so, like, the weapon change throw, like, the weapon throw change that they implemented, so good, right? Awesome, fantastic, great start. I can tell when it really makes a difference in certain areas. Um, and it makes certain interactions just make more sense. But also, dude, when I'm, like, it's still, it's still there for the most part. And it's just like having to deal with it is oh so just i mean it's just a nuisance at the end of it like okay that guy's gone um it's just a nuisance like weapon throws for the most part still are weapon throws axe is still axe and hammer i mean i i don't really know about that one it seems like there's some people trying to um like swap off of it i know java was playing like a lot of um uh mordex for example but I don't know. It seems like everything's relatively the same. Gauntlets are just rotating back into meta, and I think that's because a lot of people are just like, oh, this is the counter anyways to these weapons, so now that these weapons got nerfed, like, let's move to here, which I'm not necessarily surprised. Gauntlets seem to be the go-to for everyone because um, they hit hard in certain spots, and they seem to be, uh, for the most part, easy enough um, to play. With that being said, Orb and Scythe, dude, how are more people not playing Orb? I don't know. It's just a crazy weapon. Even, dude, Katars? But this mid-season invitational that's going to be happening, that should be, uh, it should be a lot of fun. But also, dude, Katars might be a nasty pick to have for the mid-season, if I'm being honest. I think that weapon could definitely do some damage. Um, I was going to say Spear too, but, and then I was going to joke about Queen Nye, but no, Queen Nye, it's not even worth making a joke about Queen Nye. Queen Nye's, uh... Green Eyes, a legend. We'll call her that. They should have died there. That's what I'm talking about. Like, like, okay, if I was on Gauntlets, pretty sure I could have just done a recovery and it would have killed them. Whereas with Katars, I had to set up with the D-Light and then I ended up getting a rollback on the next hit. 
which is just it's just super unlucky but it also does showcase exactly what i was talking about like with an issue that guitars currently have either way hope you guys enjoy the video and i'll see you in the next one peace guys